Here we are at the Brown Mountain Saddle. It's uh, July 14th, 2018. And um, I've been using this Polar Beat app instead of using my new watch while I'm up here. I still have my old watch on my bike right there. I use it as a speedometer. You can't sync your heart rate, see your heart rate both on the watch and on the phone. So I have it on the phone where it, it's gonna record it and push it up to the cloud quicker and, and sync it with my other devices. So I really love Polar uh, products and, and this Polar apps, the Polar Beat and the Polar Flow I have on this and on my um, smartwatch, the M600. And then the M400 I'm just using right now, basically as it, measure the altitude speedometer it's it has a gps in it so that's kind of cool anyway i'm getting ready to descend it's a very very hot day um it's about 90 something degrees and uh, man i'm just getting back into it um here's uh what i got set up today got the ibex tires i put just one on the front Look how big that 2.4 is. It's 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 a, it's a monster 2.4 because this is a Schwalbe Nobby Nick 2.6, and it's the same size. So um, those things really balloon out. Yeah, I would probably pick that type of tread pattern more for the back, but I had it on the back, and it just it's a, it's a lug to to climb with. It's just a not not a very friendly climbing tire. So I put it just on the front, which I know my knobby nicks are easier to climb with. Um, I get a lot of flotation with that 2.6 inch tire and uh, and the 30 millimeter rims, nice wide rims, and then the 2.4 Ibex is on 35 millimeter rims. Again, more flotation. I have um, 16 pounds of pressure in the back at 17 in the front. It's really low, but you guys know I'm 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 a buck sixty with my pack and everything. Maybe a buck sixty-five, buck seventy if I really load my pack down. I do put a lot of shit on my pack, which I'm about to put this phone in there now. If I continue this, so now I'm continuing it. The timer will go. Slide that right in there. It's nice and secure right there. It's really hot. I didn't feel like changing gloves into my thicker, more protective gloves. I'll be fine with these Troy Lee A's. Um, and we're going to get going. So I'll show you guys how the trail looks today. Saw a couple hikers. So we'll have to slow down when we get approach them. And... Uh, a lot of colors going on my bike today with the, those gold hubs. I went ahead and put the gold um, seat post collar to match it. Just since I had it laying around, I didn't go buy one. But I had it laying around from a previous bike build. So that's, uh, that's how I'm rolling today. So we'll um, drop my seat post dropper right and this is how I do it because I just climb and then drop it and then descend there's no up and down here where I ride it's all grind then go I really love these hopes though they really I think it's a little too low they really did a good job with machining everything hope is really everything a machine there in England they do a great job with it and yeah, I take it apart, clean it up a couple times, a couple times a month, maybe. But look at that stem. Look at that machine work on that stem and that detail. It's, hope it does such a great job. Their parts. So this time I gotta not forget to lift up my camera. I, I didn't lift it up last time, and then it was pointed down too far down. So I'm gonna point it up point you guys way down the trail so you gotta see what's coming up way before it comes up. And here we go. 
double check, make sure I didn't leave anything behind. Nice hot day, SoCal riding. Tighten my strap a little bit. Oh yeah. Now listen to that, that's my pedal. Took my cranks off, that was the bearings, my crank bottom bracket bearings, but it's the actual pedal. So I'll put a new pedal on for tomorrow. I actually have an extra pedal set. So. throws up the sand. I usually jump that little area right there, but lately I've been landing on a rock and getting a flat. I've got like four, four flats on that damn thing. This is not working, so I need to take that off. This is what happens on a fully rigid bike. Really nothing stays stable on your bike. It all gets knocked around. So I'll get up here and put it in my pack. I can try to tighten it down. It's the, the strap is, the buckle on the strap is dysfunctional where the, won't get locked in every time. So it's a pain to tinker with it. Let me just see if I can. If not, I'll put it in my pack. <sighs> Got it. All right, let's get there and drop into LP before these hikers get in there, or maybe when they first get in there. Nobody likes to be going on a peaceful hike and have bikers barreling down their neck. Can't blame them. I 
hello. Hey. Can I pop in ahead here? Thank you. So here we go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Love LP. LP love. fully rigid bike you really gotta time your landing to stay soft as much as you can if you're landing it flat it really sucks you always want to land on a transition and then when you're dicing through the trails not only do you want to pick your line really nicely but you want to be able to 